Ladies and gentlemen, let us travel to the new jewel in my crown, the second best exotic Marigold Hotel. It was lovely getting Sorbet together again. We were all so excited we had our bags packed. I think this movie is absolutely joyous. The whole film is about a celebration. The story picks up about eight months after the end of the previous one. Where the first movie ended was the beginning of another chapter in all their lives and it might be fun to see where they will end up. The Marigold Hotel is full up, so we have to expand. A chain of hotels stretching across India for those such as this great lady who had the chance to say, why die here when I can die there? So unusual to have a second helping of such a joyful film. The second movie is even stronger than the first. You think the story is going to go a certain way and it goes completely somewhere else. It's full of dancing, engagement parties and colour and smiles. And that's a real treat on a February evening. We wouldn't have called it the second best if we thought it was. If you see what I mean. So that's the hope. Like lemmings, they come to the cliff edge. That is the best exotic Marigold Hotel. This is just a lot more chaos, a lot more drama and tons of fun and humour. Careful, you'll never get back up again. Oh, you're still in one slightly sagging piece, I see. It's like a who's who of the of the British stage and screen. I mean, you can't get an ensemble like that. It's a luxury to have that sort of talent. We had special guests as well, and uh, they blended in effortlessly. Another new guest. Lordy, Lord, have mercy on my Everest. <laughs> How many new lives can we have? You come out feeling positive and happy and hopeful. As many as we like. I think it's quite unexpected. You've got a surprise or two. We are here for the Royal Film performance tonight. But with royalty of acting and real royalty in presence. I couldn't resist the chance to come out and visit the old crumbling ruins and see how the hotel was doing as well. 